Yo, welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, episode 124. People are saying I should say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you was messing. We got a lot of listeners with anxiety. And if we don't do the same exact thing, every intro, they freak out and shit. <laughs> and they got to go see their therapist twice that week instead of once. Uh, Key's out working at Wendy's right now. So <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's my, that's my boy. No, Key's not here today. Genius here today. Um, key, key, key giving out four for fours and shit, but nah. the fry is always missing. <laughs> nah, key has, <laughs> key had bit, bit, it's a three for four, nigga. It's seventy five percent, nigga. Key had business to stand on, so oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Key standing on business. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, he was just he just had a great show. Oh yeah, yeah. It oh, was first lit. of all, make sure you guys subscribe to Patreon, subscribe to YouTube. All that jazz. Listen to Key's music. Yeah, listen to Key's music. Everything's done linking in my bio. Oh, listen to Gene's music too. They got a little uh, cronies. I can't want people to say a little something. They got the cronies tape dropping. <laughs> I know. Dropping. Remember that that girl was like, man, I like your little podcast. Yeah, yeah. They got the cronies tape dropping. When is that? November 17th. November 17th. We'll put Gene's information in the in the bio as well so y'all can follow him too. Um, I had a fight yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't win. Um, but shit happens. I, I fought somebody that was... Basically, like, 60 pounds heavier than me, and it was, like, a last-minute opponent. And it was re- it was either that or don't fight. And then I also had a- another option where it was a super easy opponent that I probably would have walked over. So I chose the harder opponent, came up a little short, but it is what it is. You know, bounce back. I'll let you slide with that pause. What? You chose a harder opponent. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> let me live. I got you. It's your moment. Yeah. I'll let you no, slide. But, no, I, w- I really wanted to say appreciate everybody. I saw everybody in the live, some of the, the kind words and stuff like that y'all are giving me and the messages y'all sent. Appreciate y'all. Definitely will be back in the ring yeah. sometime. Maybe end of this year, but but maybe early next year. I like that. We're doing a better job of not acknowledging the haters. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the other people. But to them niggas. <laughs> no, nah, huh? I've never worried about the people that, that will like talk shit or something. Because the thing about it is that none of them, the people that never risked anything in their life won't understand, uh, you know, what what it takes to, to take a risk and actually fail at something. Yeah. So, and they still fucked up because their dad be, was beating the fuck out of them when they was little. I ain't got nothing to do with that little nigga. But yeah, appreciate y'all. Now time. We're not going to soak on bad times. Um, soak to, on bad times. So, I don't know. Oh, that kind of sound. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, they just like, oh, oh really I'm having funny. a bad time. See, uh-huh. It's funny that Gene is here. I don't know if you want to tell this story, but there was a story we were talking about before, and I have it in my notes, actually. I didn't even know Gene was going to be here today. But uh, basically, oh shit! <laughs> do you want to tell that story? <laughs> Hold on, bring it up, bring it up. Bring okay, it up so G- I was at the store with Gene uh, at the UL store, and then Gene was like, uh, "This girl, this girl had called me and to tell me her house is on fire." <laughs> <laughs> he called. He called the wrong nigga. <laughs> no, bro. It was it was three a.m. and I'm chilling. Right, like I'm not even chilling. I'm like, did I? Why was I chilling? I probably like just woke up and some shit, watching like <laughs> put something on Netflix. Talking to bike, shit. some random shit. Just put something on Netflix. You know, I'm like not trying to do nothing, just relaxing in bed. Three a.m. and then I get text messages like back to back. Then I get a call and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? So I look at the phone. I'm like, not trying to pick up that call. I ain't gonna lie. You know it's for something. <laughs> it's <laughs> like look, usually it feels like you know something that you know is equally beneficial, right? <laughs> but at this point, I'm like. I ain't answering the first call for sure. I ain't answering the first call, you know. And I look at the messages, I'm like, say, my house is on fire. My apartment building is on fire. Such a wild text again. Like, I need help. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I would have took a picture in my fridge and showed the three <laughs> the three bottles of water I got. So I don't think this is going to put out the fire. <laughs> You calling the wrong nigga. <laughs> Fuck am I going to do? Yo, house on fire? You want me to come to the bonfire with you? Like, right. yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> then the second call came, though. That's when, like, that's when I felt a little fucked up, though, because I was like. Did you answer the second call? I was trying to pretend I was sleeping already. Like, God I was damn. Text her shit. I was like, oh, man. Her shit up in flames. But, like, what, again, what could like, you do? Close my eyes and shit. But I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, I, so, that's, that's, that's what I thought about, too. I was like, I had to think. I was like. You just First go. Of all, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm laying in bed. I'm not gonna draw. That's selfish as a dude, person. especially if your relationship is like strictly physical with that person, that's or that you know for sure that you're not getting any that night. <laughs> <laughs> Her house is burning down. <laughs> Three a.m. is wild anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but, I answered the third call though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I had to hit it with a look. 
Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the oh, help. shit, I'm looking at the messages now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? In flames? I was like, thing, you good? You, like, the thing that just matters <laughs> is that you actually go there and you're just standing there with your hand on your waist <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yep, that's, you got, that's on fire. <laughs> it's like a fire to me. <laughs> nah, you got you to gotta start. Yeah, to, I got some advice to you. Nine one. Uh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta just comfort like I don't know what they doing. They should attack the fire from this way. <laughs> I see the flames like <laughs> they got the fire hydrant right here. They should have used the one on the <laughs> south on the south block right here. The north block that shit don't really spray like that. Yeah. I'm gonna see what's going on, and the nigga just walk closer to the situation. <laughs> We start typing the firefighters like, hey, let me know y'all need anything. I got y'all. Y'all need water? Oh, I see y'all got the water thing already. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, it's 3 a.m. Them niggas not trying to put that fire out. They just trying to make sure it don't spread. <laughs> Nobody. I, I don't know why this annoyed me the other day. It was uh, I was watching a video, and the guy was eating a, a croissant, and he spelt, he said it like a, the way people say it, like croissant, like with the accent. Croissant. Yeah, like that. And I, I don't know why sometimes I hate when people – who are not from those like places pronounce it correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's like you know, like it's like too correctly. Like it, the people they'll say like uh, you know, you like said Javanchi, right? And then the people like Javanchi, like and they're 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 purely from like like Nevada or some shit. Yeah, right, they're right, saying, man, and yeah. they're saying Javanchi. It's like nigga, <laughs> shut up. Yeah, like I, you know, when people announce like yo, the announcer was n- announcing some of the Hispanic fighters. Yeah, he's and, pronounced my name wrong. Well. Rodriguez. Yeah. It's like Hard nigga, shut the fuck up, man. That ex that nigga, you still I don't want to hear that from the niggas that really from there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that authentic shit. Yeah. It's like nigga making you an American taco. Nigga, nigga keep this shit, nigga. <laughs> I don't want that shit. I feel like we had an that American taco cheese. yesterday. Huh? That shit definitely tastes like American taco. Yeah, man. I ain't even gonna tell you where we ate the taco from, <laughs> but it wasn't good, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's hard to make a bad taco. Them niggas giving good effort over there. <laughs> Niggas, let's make the worst taco possible for these niggas. I hate when people just mildly pronounce things like, uh, I mean, when people pronounce these. But I hate also hate when people obviously pronounce things like super incorrectly. Like, nigga, you weren't even close. But, yeah, just the accent. What example you got for that? You don't even know. For super close? Yeah. I don't know. Like, a gyro. Like, I say gyro. People be getting mad at that. Nah, I be mad at that shit. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's, that's the one I'm, I, the funny the example I use is myself. And I no, the I worst it. one. But I do hate that. I do that. The one that you know you're around somebody racist. If you know, like where we come from, it was axe. Mm-hmm. Like, did you ask him yet? Mm-hmm. People be like, axe. Ask? Oh, yeah. It's like a slice. <laughs> like, just call me a nigga. Like, let's, let's cut the. I used to get that. I used to get that so much. Cause I used to say ask all the time. Yeah. So yeah. You mean axe? Are you gonna cut somebody, dude? What are you cutting? I'm about to cut you, nigga. How about that. <laughs> all right. I got uh, okay. So I saw uh, a walk a mile in her shoes, which is a walk for domestic violence. And I'm just like, oh, it's just like a walk. Because we did like a marathon walk run for a cause also. And I was just like, all right, yeah, that's dope. And I actually saw a video of it. And it's like an actual walk. And guys put on like girl shoes. Walk him out here, shoot. Fuck all that. <laughs> if I go to some shit like that and I see that shit, I'm like, nigga, where can I donate at? Like, <laughs> like let me just put some money down. Let's like, yeah, where's the women's shelter? Let me but, buy somebody a room for a reason, month or something. The like, reason they do that is to add extra publicity, just like how we're talking right now. Yeah, in other yeah. podcasts and another news outlets would be talking about it, especially yeah. if they're walking in heels. Fuck that. <laughs> you just rather donate. Nah, I'm, I'm a big just donate type of person because I've there's stuff that I've donated to this year where there's like the activity involved, and then you there's a you know you can pay money and then you get to do the activity and you or you can just donate. Yeah, I've always just donated because sometimes the activities are either like workouts and other shit that I don't really feel like doing in the moment. The only thing I don't like about like the whole like all that like domestic violence shit is like yeah. the how lenient like everything is. Like you see people like get domestic violence cases and they be out like the same day. Yeah. You're like an NBA player, domestic violence case, the girl beat up, be like, yeah, yeah he didn't deserve no jail time. Like, what like the, the fuck? Zach, the Zach Stacy one, I think he was only in jail for a little bit. Remember that running back that beat the shit out of Oh, him? yeah, he yeah. beat her and ass. And that was like on camera. Yeah. Like the thing about it, like, there's some, obviously, some uh, DV cases uh, that you can't really prove who's right. Yeah. In the moments, because there's obviously 
stuff happens behind closed door. You don't know who's telling the truth, who's not. Right. But stuff like that that gets caught all on camera. I don't care what the girl did before or the woman did before. Like <laughs> I do, cause I do, I do, to do that I, to a woman is crazy. Two dudes, same night, same neighborhood. One gets caught beating his wife. The other one gets caught with we illegally in the mm-hmm. state when it's legal in every, damn near every other state. Yeah. One of them about to do a lot of time. One of them about to be out of jail in like a couple of days yeah. for physical violence. <laughs> them niggas should be like, bruh, like that shit don't make no sense. America don't make no sense though. Remember the time when, um, cause I was just thinking about like music these days and how we consume music. Remember the times where you had to, the CD player days where you had to listen to one album at a time. Yeah, like you had the CD, oh, the Walkman. Shit. You had to listen mm-hmm. to one whole album. I had Destiny's yeah, Child I had in my shit. Huh? So, yeah. yeah, you had to I'd bring the other CD with the little CD cases and yeah. shit. I had Destiny but, Child and Chris Brown on rotate. Like the first, the little first little MP3 type of shit when he had. Like, remember the six disc uh, uh, CD players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the, yeah. the ones you can yeah, just rotate. load, especially the ones in the cars. You had that hoodie. You stuffed that whole CD player yeah. in that right because you know the hoodies used to not go all the way through. Yeah. Like now they used to have a slice hoodie with the zipper, stuff that bitch in the right pocket. Be walking, cruising with them weak ass headphones, <laughs> <laughs> and that bitch listening to Soldier Boy. <laughs> uh, every Soldier Boy freestyle yeah. downloaded. <laughs> Try my nigga A Rap. <laughs> y'all trick y'all. Oh, uh, oh, I guess we talk about Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh, so yeah, Jada Pinkett Smith um, recently had an interview. I don't. I don't. So she has a book out that's coming. She out. She has a book, which makes sense. I think she's. That's why we're hearing so much of her. Yeah, publicity for her book, mm-hmm. and it just so happens that the Tupac thing is coming up. And like when people think Tupac, they think like the closest person they think to Tupac is Jada. Right yeah. now, you automatically think of Jada um, because of their friendship or bond, uh, whatever they had. So she did an interview with Matt Barnes, All the Smoke podcast, and um, that's funny. She went on All the Smoke for some reason. Yeah. They probably so asked. They probably smart. First yeah, people smart enough cool. to ask her, knowing. And first of all, the first thing she said that was controversial or like people didn't know about was that she took a break. Her and Will haven't been together since 2016. And then she talked about the situation with Chris Rock. I think that happened in like 2022 or 2221, mm-hmm. like just recently, not yeah. too long ago. And she was talking about how she was surprised that Will called her. His wife. wife, yeah, and it was just like in that situation. It's like I don't know. I feel like somebody. I get you got a book. I never want to be around nobody with a book. It looks like they got to tell every fucking thing. Mm-hmm. But you just think like, damn, I'm gonna keep that part out. Like that's really embarrassing for him. And like, but that's a that is a good selling point on her fucking book. Yeah, listen to this one. Clips were- did that eye roll not so much for me, and I think this is really important. But the fact that there could be a jab at alopecia will then went on a profane tirade warning chris not to mention his wife's name jada couldn't believe what she was hearing what is going on now first of all i'm really shocked because mind you i'm not there we haven't called she, so that was basically one of her interviews that she was doing and then another did you see the other quote where she was saying that uh tupac was battling um Alopecia. Alopecia. Yeah. It just it's so that's so what's random shit. It's just like <laughs> there's, there's I that. get you're trying to sell a book. I get I guess why well, who are we to tell her that she can't talk about her life? Yeah. If that's her life, she talked about how Tupac proposed to her while he was in prison and then how they were there for each other, how they had a bond and how he it like just, it just seems I think the perception of what people had of Jada before was like that of like Trying to think of an actor that's like stays really low key. Yeah, it's like the most loyal like a, woman. Like, a, like, like a yeah. Halle Berry's pretty low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. you don't you think of J- like you, when you think of set it off. You think of Jada Pinkett Smith, the mm-hmm. most beautiful, one of the most beautiful women in the world. Loyal. When she started like that red table talk stuff, is like the more people heard her talk, the more yeah. sometimes people didn't want to hear her talk as much. I, I think I think their family has always been a little strange. Their dynamic. Yeah, well, not, I don't want to say strange is different than everybody it's different, else. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which is fine Yeah But I also think like A lot of people This should be like Eye opening You don't know what Your favorite celebrity Like does Yeah And it's okay to like Separate the art from Like what's actually happening Mm -hmm. Because like A lot of these celebrities Have different opinions They could be your favorite celebrity You don't even know They like You're all liberal In the streets And stuff like that They're like Man I don't want I don't want no niggas Living next to me (laughs) You know what I'm saying They they stop at housing projects You don't know Is that you? Oh I keep thinking I hear something. Go ahead. Anyways, they got mm-hmm. they stop in housing pride. They don't give a fuck about you or anything you're doing. But you like their music, so you <laughs> sticking up for them all the time. Yeah. Sexy red pregnant. 
I saw that. I was hoping she was pregnant because <laughs> I was looking at the photo. I was like, is that just her? Oh, you didn't want to be rude? Yeah, I didn't want to just assume it. Yeah. Like, but but not to leave the Dwill and Jada thing. That kind of sucks for Chris Walk to get slapped by somebody that's not even your, that you're not even together with. But I feel like, I feel like if you go, if I take somebody to a show, even if I'm not together with them, and you disrespect them, and I see them like get quiet and get timid, and I know that they're emotional. Yeah. What is he supposed to say? Keep my, keep Jada's name out of your mouth. You just said the first thing. She that said came. she thought it was a skit too. Oh, she did. Yeah, yeah. If she said she never seen him act like that, he must knew he could be Chris Rock ass. You know when somebody <laughs> say something like, you know, when it's somebody I had never seen him raise his voice. Oh before. my god! You know, it, you know, it's a lot of people like that. You think you can, you think you can beat their ass. But you still got that, it's that mystery factor, like, y'all don't know if you can fight for real, blah, mm-hmm. blah. But it's some people, like, I know for sure I can beat your ass. Yeah. And they just get high. They do something to you first. You're like, what? what? <laughs> you want me to beat your ass? <laughs> All right, I will. That's still some whole ass shit, though. To smack another black man at the Grammys yeah. over a joke. Knowing, like, how they going to perceive y'all. And they looked around, it's all white people in that room. Mm-hmm. It's a goddamn zoo in this bitch. <laughs> Can't take us nowhere, huh? Nah, I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> I saw uh, 6 9 get kidnapped. <laughs> get kidnapped and got arrested. <laughs> it looked like it, man. They be arresting people crazy. Uh, nah, yeah, they be rushing people to the... Video. What type of shit? They rough as hell in... Uh, <laughs> Dominican? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, America, they just killing niggas, but at least like... <laughs> oh, they got arrested by DR police? Yeah, yeah and they're like... Shit. When they brought to the police station, I guess there was a whole bunch of fans out there, and they, they rushed them in, and people were like trying to like, you know, touch them and shit like that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so it was, like, it was like a wild scene. Yeah. The thing about me, I never, 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 never want to get uh, arrested overseas. Hell no. Never. I'm good. I don't care. You see that how they had Brittany Griner? I made her cut that fucking hair straight off. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? I they, just said, oh, no. <laughs> what? No, Brittany Griner. Yeah, he made. They gave her a ball fade first day. I, I said, God damn, they ain't playing no been, games over there. How she been doing in the league? I haven't really been paying attention to the league. Yeah. It's, it's the WNBA finals, finals right yeah. now. I saw the Liberty won one game. Yeah, I saw the Aces <laughs> one one game too. Shout out to Aja Wilson. Shout yeah. out to Brady, uh, Rihanna Stewart. <laughs> Shout out to Sabrina. I'm trying to name all the players you, I know on there. I was gonna ask you a question. I was gonna ask the listeners this question eventually too. But do you mildly mildly hate someone? Mildly hate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like somebody you don't don't like, but like you got to tolerate them yeah. because they're in the same community yeah. as you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I you got, got those people. Millions. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What, what? Like. What sets it over the edge? Well, like, what sets it over the edge where it would be more of a hate? Like, sometimes, I fucking despise you to a, like, I, I can tolerate Sometimes you. it's not, like, really a hate, but you see someone going through uh, a transition in life that you went through mm. and you got over, and that person's kind of, like, riding that way. Mm. Like, everybody's had that transition in life where they're not the smallest person in the room, but they feel like they got to, like, you know, catch up and network and stuff like that. And there's like a a, a good way to like naturally network, actually build relationships with mm-hmm. people. But then you'll see the person that's like trying to be like come into a community, trying to, hey man, this is my, hey, come over my place anytime. Like this yeah. two try hard ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga, you just met us, you already throwing a housewarming party. <laughs> nigga, you've been living there for a year. Nigga, <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming over. Like these, or these people that just think like they, like I feel like you could use you could be way more clout thirsty than you are, right? Mm. I feel like you all, you're you're humble on social media, right? You could post a lot more than you do. There's a lot of videos you got in the tuck. Same thing with you, right? Y'all can push way more content, but y'all don't because it feels corny if you do. Yeah. But then you get these people that really don't do anything and they take a hundred percent what they do, put it on a story, make reels every single day, and it's just like, man, that shit corny to me. <laughs> To make it, no, not the make or the. And concept. I mildly hate them niggas. Uh, <laughs> uh, that shit corny. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I, I just hate people that try too hard. So, what's the time limit then for a housewarming? A housewarming? Yeah. First, like I'm trying to come to your housewarming, nigga. Ain't nowhere to sit. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> now I feel like you should have your shit together for a housewarming party. It just depends. I, I don't even get why people do that shit. Like, you got like a season. Housewarming? Yeah, like a season. Like you move in in like spring, it got it can't be like in the summer. Yeah, housewarming party in the summer sounds terrible. Yeah. Like damn, nigga, you got a box AC. You invited us <laughs> over here. <laughs> you got a window I, AC, and you I invited just, us so over the, to this. The beach? next question is that what what's considered a housewarming? Then, like the size of the house. 
See what? Wow. So like, say what if you not, move into a, a pretty small condo and they do a housewarming, like, so what is what a real housewarming uh, for is to like all that shit is to get gifts. Yeah, but you know, black people do it different. <laughs> We're just coming over, nigga. Listen, you can keep that bottle of tequila, nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> like, nigga, supposed to be bringing nigga like, oh yeah, here's a picture of Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's Morgan Freeman, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate. I used to hate when people uh, brought those little uh, random paintings of random shit to the house. I know. Or the, <laughs> like you, they, everybody got like that black. Light, like I, I remember one time that somebody gave us like a picture of like a lighthouse or some shit. Like, mm. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna that's do? That's such a. That's such like a cliche picture. Yeah. A picture of a lighthouse because people like got them different meanings. Anytime you're lost at ocean, I can be your lighthouse. Like nigga, if I'm lost at ocean, I'm done, nigga. <laughs> would you get? Would you rather be? Stuck in the middle ocean on a boat. I just watched this movie where this lady was pregnant and she was stuck in like the, you know, those truck things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, container. And she was pregnant and she survived the whole thing, had the baby on there. It was unrealistic as fuck. But I kept (laughs) watching this shit. Would you rather be in the middle of an ocean on a boat or stuck in a desert? Mm. It's tough. Fuck. Probably in the middle of the ocean. I say desert. I'd rather be on land because I feel like, like ocean, like you could be floating, like just like me, my anxiety would be like, damn, what if the current's just going like this? Yeah, and the nigga stand directly in the middle of that shit. I think my thing is that I think in the desert, you the dehydration part is just like really tough. Yeah, like I think down the line, I know it's not probably safe to drink that much salt water, but at least like, there's something I can kind of like. Uh, you gonna die? Yeah, yeah, but, but at least I guess it'll like, rain. It should rain over yeah. the ocean, right? The other thing too is that I, got to. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other thing is that um, I think there's more of a chance of like a big ass sailboat passing by mm. than than people on camel. Then a nigga on the camel, like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> my nigga, you look thirsty. <laughs> We actually about to enslave you, nigga. I know you thought you were safe. <laughs> we hate black people here. Nigga. Like, God damn. In the ocean, ain't really that many. Ain't nobody going to do you that. Yeah. Imagine uh, a racist boat. Be like, oh, shit, there's somebody overboard. Uh, no, and Never mind, he black. Imagine some, Doo, niggas, uh, imagine some niggas cosplaying as a... Uh, what do you call it? Cosplaying as pirates and shit. No, that's crazy. <laughs> like, hey, matey. All right. Like, I, hey, to like, get on oh, that boat. No, to get on that boat, I do it right back. Arg. No, no. I lost me ship. If you see it, <laughs> if you see it, if you see it, any niggas out there in the in the middle of the ocean cosplaying as pirates, you getting fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fucking. <laughs> they fucking for sure. <laughs> they fucking. <laughs> With one eye patch yeah. on. <laughs> You're gonna see yourself in a little corner uh, thing of the le- illegal website you go uh, to. It'll be like, I we were looking for booty and we found it. <laughs> like, oh my god. Please tell me y'all talk about treasure. They're like, yeah, nigga, your treasure, nigga. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Put this patch on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Dudes being aggressively uh, aggressive to each other in that way is always more weird to me. What do you mean? More weird than what? In a sense, it just seems more like uh, it's in the way it's just like, nigga, you're my size and you're threatening me with sex. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I always thought that was crazy, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's like, like, for, like, I've heard the stories about prison and shit like that. Like, yeah. used to be like, yeah, this dude told him to come to the bathroom and shit like that. And, I fucked them, then I fucked them, and then the other dude was just watching. It's just that shit, just yeah, a buff ass nigga like that. I feel like some people don't have like I, it's the uh, the fight or flight thing, yeah. like when it happens, and mm. it's just like you, I you, I feel like you gotta imagine yourself in that situation. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't imagine themselves in that situation, especially going in, and then when it happened, they freeze up, and then they end up like. That's just my perception yeah. of it. Like, nigga, I'm willing to die over yeah, this shit. I was shit. gonna say, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. And nigga, as soon as I heard, hey, them niggas won't you? Bet. That night, I'm sharpening everything up. Like, nigga, I stab this nigga first if I have to. This is it. Damn, I wasn't even gonna do it. Too late, nigga. Like, that shit over with. I'd rather do 10 more years in jail before that shit happened. Put me in the hole. Before the nigga try to get in mine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Roddy Rich song. I'd rather be. You know what you say? I'd rather be. Uh, I'd rather be, be judged, judged by, by twelve than fucked by six. <laughs> 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 I'd rather be fucked by twelve. <laughs> Hold on, you'd rather be fucked by twelve. I'd rather I think do it's twelve more. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I rather do twelve yeah. more than get fucked by twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I rather be judged by twelve than fuck by six niggas. <laughs> Shout out to Roddy for that bar, nigga. I feel you. <laughs> I'm a crazy bar. <laughs> <laughs> niggas trying to fuck you in a box. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get shit is crazy. <laughs> let's get to listener callers. <laughs> <laughs> this listener caller section is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Uh, this app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than thirty states. Make sure you support the show and click the link in the bio and download the Underdog Fantasy app. They will also match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars when you use the code. Dummies, D U M M I E S, because I know some dummies really don't know how to spell dummies. So they'll match, they'll match it up to a hundred dollars when you use the promo code Dummies. Make sure you click the link in the bio. Use the code Dummies to and support the show. Thank you, Underdog, for sponsoring this segment. Hey, yo, what's up? It's Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Why you does not sound like Mike. <laughs> oh, you know Mike voice, huh? Pause, pause. Nah, yeah, he said. Nah, he said that I shit. Would, he said, where's Mike? <laughs> I know, he didn't ask me. He said, where the fuck is Mike at? Nah, it's because Pat, it's Pat mad disrespectful. So, you know, we got we to gotta, we gotta beat. And uh, Mike, though, that nigga, he stocky like Rocky. He be beating oh. up that nigga. <laughs> hey. That nigga. Your body yeah. side showing. Um, you asked him the question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so what's the conspiracy theory that you believe? Uh, Tupac is still alive. All right, and I got I got three good reasons for this. All right, so the first one is uh, how the fuck? Like I was I was born a year after Tupac died. So how the hell do I know that he's still alive? And why was it going on that rumor for so long? Like it, it would have just died down, but it's been years and years. So what do you make of um, Keefe, whatever D in jail right now? Yeah, they shot him. You can you can go to jail for shooting someone, but that doesn't mean that you murdered him. He didn't see him die. Tupac died six late, quote unquote, hypothetically died six days later in the hospital. So Keefe didn't even see him. Only person that seen him was his, the mom and the doctors, right? And his mom is the one that said, you know, pull the plug. No, no, no pictures of him at the funeral. No, how Biggie Smalls rolled through. Uh, oh, they pulled the plug on, on Tupac. Yeah, he, he died six days later in the hospital. He didn't die on the seat. I didn't know yeah, he was on life support. support. Oh, damn. Yeah. Boom. So that's two reasons, right? I mean, well, first reason is... Uh, no, that's not two reasons. That was one reason I gave <laughs> yeah, That's a like long-ass no, 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 first no, no, one. No, 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 the second one is going into the, you know, the, his family pulled the plug and nobody, there was no grand tour like they did for Nipsey Hussle, like they did for Biggie Smalls, where they rolled his whole body through all of New York. There's no video or no news station of that for Tupac or anything like that. And I don't even know if he got buried or cremated. I never looked into that, right? But that's two reasons. My third reason is Jada Pickett. <laughs> ain't ain't no bitch oh. in this world ain't no bitch in this world leaving a good situation unless there's a better situation. <laughs> bitches the bitches don't build, they move in. They don't. They don't go in and pick out a house. They they, they move into a nice, already built, established home. <laughs> right, wait, are you are right. you in a relationship? Yeah. Is, did this what your girl did to you? Uh, no, but I don't got I don't got money to just to to, to, to build it. it. We worked on it together. But I'm saying like a nigga, a nigga of those like that type of stature. So you're saying like Jada Will left Will Smith for uh no this, no no. no. I don't, I'm not saying he left her. I'm saying she's trying to make this nigga leave her, but this nigga's a cornball talking about, yeah, I don't believe in divorce and all this shit. And she, she's doing everything in her power. She said we've been separated since, what, 2016? She talked about fucking other niggas. This is like, this is like that, that, uh, oh, um, 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 self-destruction, I guess. I guess so why, why do you think she's doing it? For Tupac? Yes, because she wants the reason to just fall off the earth and, and go to Cuba, wherever the fuck this nigga is. Just, All right, nigga, what do you here. do for, like, hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you do for Why fun? All information. I like, what are you doing? No, nah, because you niggas, bro, all right, I play Xbox, 
I play basketball. <laughs> and yes, no, nigga, I can make a, I can make no, a left X, hand layup. X, I got a left hand. Xbox being on the top of a nigga hobby list is crazy. <laughs> no, because I'm literally fucking. I'm, I'm uh, my Xbox is right in front of me. I'm watching uh, <laughs> another podcast, but it doesn't matter. I ain't gonna give <laughs> no, niggas be on their Xbox with their gaming headset on, watching YouTube and shit. <laughs> this is no, crazy. No, no. no I I watching YouTube time. with your gaming headset on. <laughs> that that is insane. I will never. I got <laughs> I got a game room, and I got a. I'm watching Xbox on my front TV. I, no. What's your favorite game? <laughs> uh, right now it's FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> now FIFA a good day. What's your second favorite game? Probably Call of Duty. Call okay, of Duty. third, third, because this is gonna tell like what type of person you is. This is the first. I love two K, but this is the first year I did not buy two K. Okay, so you sports game. Okay, you cool. I thought you were about to say like yeah, yeah. some Assassin's Creed or Spider Man. You, you sound yeah, like not, bro, it sounded like I, you I, play Spider Man and you beat it twice. <laughs> 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 Earl, I mean, you still have the PlayStation. You have to have to leave the game on if you didn't have the memory card. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, yeah, I do remember that shit. But no, I do not. I don't play. You niggas is out of pocket. <laughs> hey, all I'm going to say is, bro, I got, I got grinded up uh, for being up on you guys' last a- a- episode. Fucking hell of people were talking shit. Grinding yeah, up is what? What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> Are you trying to say you got up, flame? People talking shit, like that's what y'all flame. say. Where you from? Yeah, bro, you niggas actually is like. Well, you don't know who I am. I'm from Sacramento, California. Oh yeah, you just said we actually about the chicken nuggets or some shit. No, you niggas asked me about oh, burritos. Work wife, work yeah, yeah, wife. Work yeah, burritos, wife. burritos, 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 burritos. Okay. Yeah, nah. Uh, nah, I just want to let you guys know y'all got a big following out here in Sacramento, man. Appreciate what you guys are doing. A little podcast, man. I how, keep it how, many people, how many people you think listen to us in Sacramento? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, just be guessing. <laughs> that, well, if I got I got hit by people that just knew me, and they said, "Nigga, is this you?" And uh, they sent me like the they sent me like a screenshot of it. I got hit by three people who I didn't even tell, and then I got a couple friends that I know listen to. So if three people that I just know and probably haven't talked to in months and months. Hit me and Did just like, you so they all hitting you. Did my ex hit me now? Pause. <laughs> Everybody fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. I just want to show y'all some love, man. Hey, right. appreciate, appreciate you, brody. You, yep, have a good one. All right, you uh, too. Can y'all hear me? Yo, now we can. Is this the first, is this the first thing you said or you been talking? Nah, it's the first thing I said. Wait, wait. <laughs> 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 you didn't even say hello yet. Nothing. I said I said hello. I, I said hello, shit, but hey, it's my, it's my AirPods. <laughs> the first thing a nigga says is, "Yo, can you hear me?" Like, nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I it was on the phone for a few seconds. I didn't hear nothing. All right, okay. all right, all right. I got a question for you. Go ahead. What conspiracy theory do you believe? Uh, the Mandela effect. Well, explain that for people that don't know what that means. A lot of people think so you talk about Nelson Mandela. Yeah, <laughs> it nah, has to do with him, that. bro. We ain't doing that. Uh, I, I know. It, no, it does have to do with him, but they just think that it's like specifically oh, like, the effect, like the effect yeah. that Mandela had on yeah, Earth. Yeah, and, look, and then right now, everybody looking up Mandela and they're looking at a picture of Morgan Freeman right now. Like, I know this nigga, no, man. Crazy. But go ahead. But uh, the Mandela effect is like something that the whole world, not, I ain't gonna say the whole world, but a lot of majority that was like something in the past, like Say that I mean, again. I, you kind of cut out. Yeah, let me switch my phone. I'll be right. hold on one second. <laughs> so what you what, what service you got? Yeah, yeah. Uh, chill. I got I got uh, Verizon. <laughs> I, I ain't lie. Like what's other thing? Nigga just shout out the biggest company. Uh, I had to think, US I, <laughs> nah, I just had T-Mobile like a month ago, so I had to think real quick. All right, so the Mandela effect is like everybody remembers one thing. Different than it actually is. Like for Jiffy, the, the peanut butter and shit, it's really Jiff. I thought it was Jiffy my whole life. And you know that little that little movie with the genie. Mm-hmm. And uh, what was his name? Shazam uh, or something. Shazam. That that dude never played Shazam ever. Oh, the Sinbad dude. Yeah, I'm hold on. I'm straight. <laughs> we don't know your sexual. I put, I put, you my, AirPod, you I put like. my AirPods in my shit. No, no, you, you might be bi. You might be bi. 
He said what? You asked us if you're straight. We said we don't know if you're straight. You could. Oh be hell no, y'all, <laughs> y'all tweaking. <laughs> straight over here, y'all tweak. <laughs> <laughs> so what conspiracy theory do you believe? In? <laughs> The oh, Mandela effect. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I believe the whole. Yeah, 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 you already asked me that. But that's not really a conspiracy theory. All right, so y'all believe the the pyramids were found by the Egyptians, or <laughs> they just they built them since? Man, I don't give a fuck. Black people get killed by cops every day. Dude. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, you right. I feel that. Right. <laughs> fuck pyramids gonna do to help us? Niggas always hey, looking up some shit that ain't gonna what, help. What do you think the what, what do you think built the pyramids? Uh. I don't know the people before us. They said it's like a, a lost civilization type shit. A I lot. think the Egyptians just. I think the Egyptians just found them shit. Because apparently the uh, the Sphinx and shit, they changed the whole face. It was really like a lion before, and they changed it to the pharaoh dude and whatnot. You'd be the worst history teacher ever. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, you yeah. see the you see the, you see the pyramids <laughs> and there's some Egyptian niggas. Yeah, and Egypt- then you see the snake right here. <laughs> they changed they that shit for real. Before they turned to bloods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. They used, though, to, they used to be GD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now everybody throwing up money. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, but he dropped their flag and shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, Brody. Appreciate you coming on. Yeah, how about going? Y'all boys keep doing y'all thing, man. All right, you too, you, bro. Whatever your thing hey, is. Mike, what get up? the get back, man. Yes, sir. That, yeah, that next fight, man, just go crazy. Yes, bro. sir. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Welcome to Crash Homies Podcast. What's good? Appreciate it. How y'all doing? Good, man. Good, 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 good. All right. Got a question for you. I bet. What's a conspiracy theory that you believe? Shit, I think crackheads are aliens. Wait, what? Just that simple. Crackheads are aliens. Crack. Shit, because like, all right, so I live in Dallas, so like, you know, we got a lot of them. A what? So like, a lot of them. A lot of them, okay. Yeah, so like, um, you'll be driving, right? And you'll see them in a the corner, and then you go across town, and you see them niggas right there, and it's like, bro, it's like, they be teleporting or some shit, and then they got super strength, too. Like, they just, they different. They ain't human. <laughs> so you think... Aliens just came on here just to be crackheads? I mean, shit. Would you think a crackhead was an alien? No. <laughs> See? Hey. <laughs> they got a hiding. Hide in plain sight. Mm. Hey, am I wrong? How many people have you told but this? You're very wrong. Man. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many people have you told this? I'm going to be honest. This is first, I, I just came up with this shit this morning. <laughs> You one of them niggas that come up with a new idea every day, huh? Now, hundreds of thousands of people are, are going to hear your theory now. I mean, shit. I'll convince a couple people. <laughs> That's all I know. There's about three niggas that probably do yeah, this be shit. like, oh, yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. All right, so what What do you think we should do about it? Just leave them there? There's nothing we can do. They're just going to multiply. <laughs> hey, we get rid of some, more reappear. <laughs> what do you mean rid of? Yo, we get rid of people that are addicted to drugs. Man, we can't do that. <laughs> hey, hey, they funny. We need crackheads. Without them, shit, they like Batman at night. They be solving crimes. <laughs> well, I don't think well, you, so. You've witnessed this before? Yeah. Like I said, I be driving. I go across town, and I see them niggas standing in the middle asking for money. Like, shit crazy. <laughs> Either they got super speed or... You, you, the you, you say <laughs> you say you're from Baltimore? No, Dallas. Dallas. Oh my bad. <laughs> Where I get yeah. Baltimore for? <laughs> What's the most Dallas thing you probably ever done? Shit. Like, what's something that Dallas people do that's like only Dallas person would do some shit like that? I don't, cause like I'm not really from here, so I've been living here for a couple of years, so I don't even think I can answer that. For Where are you me. from, then, nigga? I'm from Arizona. Oh, <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to ask no Arizona dude what do he do. It's like what's different in Arizona? <laughs> I feel like y'all do everything like kind of similar to like California. Man, everybody weird out here. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, Brody, appreciate right. you being on. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. Yo, what up? Oh, not a, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, Mike? I saw a fight yesterday, bro. Yeah, yeah. Didn't go my way. Mark say. 
After he rebounded off the ropes and you weave that shit, I thought you about to knock that nigga out. I did too. <laughs> he pushed me, but hey, it shit happens. That's all you want hey, to hey. ask? Yeah, hey, that's it, shit. <laughs> You're so late. All right, all right, hey, right. Hey, listen, I'm excited, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Tomorrow my birthday. This is a good way to kind of like start it off. Hey, I happy birthday! Wait, did you say your what? Tomorrow my birthday. So no, I what's the first thing you said though? Uh, you excited? Oh, excited! What? Man, I thought you said he said the R word. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, you wild! I was nah, like, why would he say he wildin', bro? Ain't he? <laughs> you wild. <laughs> all right, all right, Brody. Appreciate. Hey, happy birthday, bro. I appreciate y'all, man. Have a good day. You too. Respectful ass nigga, man. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What's good with you? What's good? Welcome to Crash Army's podcast. What's the deal? Man, uh, chilling, chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Where chillin'? you from? D.C. D.C.? Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, shit be the city. D.C. The DMV. Shit be popping up here, man. Hell no. Man, got, you tripping. You don't be in the right pot. Y'all don't got no motion up there, man. You be by, you be by the Washington <laughs> Monument and shit. Going to the White House. Nah, nah. <laughs> nigga, so I came there to see. You ever nigga, been to the White House, nigga? Hell no. You ever joke? <laughs> you've never been said. to the White House? You, been, you live in D.C.? Hell no. Is that a thing? Like, nobody go to the White House that's from the hood? Ain't nobody going there, man. That's where all them white folks at. Police and white folks. That's all that's there. You never know, just drive by? <laughs> I mean, yeah, drive by, but shit, police watching you. You ever like scream? <laughs> you ever scream like Obama or Biden out the window or some shit? Hell no, they they hiding them. They hiding them. You don't ever see them. Oh, okay. They don't be outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they're not off the porch, huh? <laughs> Man, them niggas, them niggas hiding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if niggas, you, if you say outside for real, if you saw Obama, what would you say to him? Shit, what do we eat at? I know his ass got the good weed. <laughs> Le- legal in DC, him, ain't it? He probably- yeah, it's legal in here. It's legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bet, bet, bet. You gotta have that shit. All right, we got a question for you. What's one conspiracy? Sure. What's one conspiracy theory that you believe in? Shit, motherfucking time ain't real. This shit fake. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this shit fake. All right, everybody, everybody, put their tin foil hats on. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's one go. Let's, thing- let's hear it. Once they said they were moving daylight saving times, I knew this shit was fake. <laughs> well, how the fuck we gonna remove daylight saving times? I thought that shit was some permanent. <laughs> they, they fucking with us. <laughs> they fucking with us. Nah, that's true though. That is true. Because they like, be like one year they be like, all right, let's turn this shit back two hours back. Two hours. <laughs> they, they really can't. Though. Minds, I'm telling y'all, they really can't though. Know. But it's also the because we don't one, want that much darkness. Go ahead. The other one, motherfucking birds ain't real. It's, it's motherfucking cameras in them birds. All right, more tin hats on, please. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> it's, it's fucking cameras in them birds. Y'all don't, y'all don't see a, a big flock of birds no more. It ain't no, y'all don't be seeing like 10 birds flying together no more and shit like that. Y'all see one or two birds. In them cameras? I'm telling you. What, what do you think they're using those cameras for? They watching us. They watching everything we do. This shit is, this shit is. This shit ain't real life. You work a nine to five job? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, yeah, I work a nine to I'm five. I'm saying you get your social security number to a company and they got your schedule. So right then and there, they know where you at eight hours a day. And you gave them that information. They don't need no fucking bird. <laughs> they already know where you at, nigga. <laughs> nigga work at they nine to five and he go to the same gym every day. Like, nigga, <laughs> just check the gym cameras. This nigga in here hooping again. <laughs> Getting his ass bust. <laughs> <laughs> nigga refused to get back on defense. Like, that's, nigga, your FBI nah, agent like, damn, that nigga ain't got no transition defense. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just run to the paint Talking about switch, switch, switch <laughs> <laughs> Nigga get out nah, on the shooters Nigga <laughs> Nigga standing in the corner Ball, ball <laughs> Every time somebody shoot a three on the fast break You the type of nigga say Look what Steph Curry <laughs> did to the game I love <laughs> He fucked they it up it, uh, Appreciate you coming on For sure, for sure Y'all boys be safe Alright, you too You be safe <laughs> oh, that's nigga. Being the safest part of America, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look, I'm a YouTube listener too. Oh, my bad. My audience. fall game. My fall game. Yeah, I just seen every episode. My shit watched it all the way from the from the hundred to, to to one. Okay. Oh, what you got to say to them audio listeners then? 
fuck them niggas. Them niggas hoes. Get at me. <laughs> yes, sir. Damn. Get at me. Yes, sir. Talk that shit. Broke ass niggas, man. <laughs> oh, shit. He going in on y'all niggas. Say one more thing. One more thing about them niggas. Oh, ass niggas, man. Y'all, bet, y'all better hope I don't catch y'all in the, in the city. Shit gonna get wicked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ho, ho, ho! One more thing. Hey, you want your fight? You nah, want your fight, Sunday? Nah, nah, I lost. I lost. Hey, man, fuck that nigga. We don't get back, man. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> hey, let's talk about. <laughs> hey, appreciate you, Brody. Thanks, bro. All right, for sure, for sure. Hello. What up? What up? Welcome to. I ain't never had a nigga say hello. That I ain't was the most it. proper hello I've ever heard. Yeah, we be on people's ass the first two I seconds. Know. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Sorry, we hey, trying to make man. you feel more welcome. How you doing, man? What's How's your question? day? Oh, yeah. oh hey. hey. <laughs> we try to be polite here, nigga. Straighten up. Let's start all over, all right? How are you doing? Hey, man. How are you? Good, I, don't, I don't like that hey, man yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's a little passive aggressive, <laughs> man. I'm not feeling that, man. <laughs> That's the hey man right before you fire me. Hey man, <laughs> we're gonna go in, no, in, in a new direction, man. All right, bro. Um, what's the what's a conspiracy theory that you believe in? Like I'm I'm the only one real, and the rest of y'all are just here for me. <laughs> Wait, how, like what's like what's your bit? Like how tall are you, nigga? <laughs> how tall am I? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not that tall. I'm like five five eight. Five eight. How much you weigh? 145. You think the world revolve around a nigga that's built like Lord Fargrot? <laughs> like, come on now, bro. You, like, think it, you think it revolves around Key? <laughs> whoa. whoa. You like you should, Key not here. But why are you saying that? Oh, where's Key is? Key has definitely got more main characters than vibes than you. Nah, nah, y'all calling All right, me. what are you doing? What do you do day to, What's your day-to-day like? Yeah. Let's day see, to day? Let's see what God's number one project is like. <laughs> Man, it's normal. Homework, school. This nigga sound like a bot to me. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you're part yeah, of nigga, the simulation. Nigga's an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> nigga walking around, <laughs> going to school and shit. Now nah, he that GTA character that say, fuck you. And then when you square up the, with the nigga, he run and shit. Like, nigga, <laughs> why you talking all that shit then? <laughs> this nigga, GTA uh, NPC for real. <laughs> You ain't got no main character vibes. <laughs> Look, it's just, it's just silence. <laughs> what you, nah, man, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm on the phone. What are you talking about? Yeah, nigga. This, this, is, this, is, this is like the most exciting thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you a bot, bro. You, we is not a figment of your imagination, bro. No way. No, you are. You are. Oh, yeah, You're here nigga, to entertain me. Nah, this nigga need therapy, man. <laughs> Hold on, you white? Am I white? Yeah. Yeah. What you mean I'm here to entertain you, nigga? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, I didn't mean it like that. Nah, I didn't mean it like that. My nah. bad. My bad. Nah. Fuck all that. <laughs> I heard it in your voice when you say it. Nah, nah, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like nah, that. Nah, you said you're here to entertain me. Your ancestors crawl right up out of your ass. <laughs> that's, hey, man, that's your great granddad talking, not you. <laughs> that's all good, bro. Nah, you all good, brody. All right, bro. Appreciate you coming on. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Right, Have a great yeah. day. You too, man. You polite ass nigga. <laughs> Yo. What's going on? Here, hold on one second. Sorry. Can you guys take care of that for me? He's at he's at my office, um, at my cubicle. So if you can just give it, give the product to him, that'd be great. Sorry, I'm working. <laughs> nah, that sounds like you sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, bro. I paid a lot more. That's what a drug dealer would say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. We got a question for you. Um, All right. What's one conspiracy theory that you believe in? Oh, uh, man. It's the blind people, man. The blind people? The blind. Yes, dude. What about them? I think they're faking it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm just. Okay. Tell, have you ever met a blind person? <laughs> <laughs> have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Did you? You ever test it out? <laughs> what is testing it out? Like put mean? my hand in front of their face or some shit, or flinch at them. Give them a little like you know, a little fake punch. Do you say flinch? No, I haven't tried that. See, I'm just saying nobody's I, tried it out. Nigga, have, you, have you tried it? <laughs> I haven't tried it because I've met a blind person. That's what I'm saying. You've never met anybody blind. No, I've seen some people that are supposedly blind. <laughs> Why didn't you try it on them? 
Well, they were walking down the street with their little cane under their arm, first off. That's the best time to do it, right? Well, no, he already exposed himself. How? He's walking. He's got the stick under his arm. He's not even walking and using it. <laughs> no, nah, I've seen some black people do that. <laughs> yeah, some black people just like start walking regular like that. They know what yeah. They're like, this shit exhausted, man. I need a break. <laughs> they just start. Exactly. And then you think of famous blind people, Stevie Wonder, dude's faking it. And yep. then you got Ray, Ray Charles. Like, okay, I watched the movie first off. He went blind from his brother falling in this little bucket. Nah, that's nah not, dude. That don't check out. No, nah, I think he had a disease. That he lost his eyesight. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> I don't know, man. So what you got? So we got some blind listeners. What you got to say to them? I bet they're watching on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you they are. <laughs> the dig is up, man. The dig is up. All right, All right bro. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming on, bro. All right, I appreciate it, guys. All right, peace. <laughs> Don't get fired, nigga. That's funny. He got me over here trying to find blind people on Instagram. <laughs> you did the hashtag blind I blind people. I'll search that shit up. <laughs> oh wait, no, I've never met a blind person before. I've met one in Nigeria. I don't count. I do. Anything I've met, that you do I've over there one, don't count. I've met one here in Chicago too. I feel like it's a lot of yeah. It's definitely a scam. <laughs> he said, but this man Gene think people would hashtag blind. <laughs> I'm trying to see. I'm just to, <laughs> that's a crazy hashtag. Because how do they know it exists? <laughs> How do you even find it? What's the point of hashtag? You're not going to find it. It's going to be, a, it's gonna be all blank pictures and shit. <laughs> <laughs> all Kevin. shit. The, all the, it's going to be <laughs> camera angles will all work bad and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like just vibing today. It's yeah. half a nigga forehead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this view. A nigga still got the front camera on. <laughs> Love it in here. Welcome to Crash Money's podcast. What's good? Nothing much. Nothing much. What up? Um, What's your favorite animal, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> favorite animal? Um, I'm joking. That's not a question. I'm just joking. Anyway, what's a conspiracy theory that you believe in? Oh, um, so I would say, like, uh, you know, if, like, a celebrity or a company does something – to cover up, like, uh, like, okay, uh, I think the one I sent in was, like, Disney with Frozen, you know, um, that, uh, you, you know the thing about, like, Walt Disney's head is Frozen? Yeah. Yeah, so they released a movie called Frozen, so if you type in Disney Frozen, the, the thing about his head don't come up, but the movie. Mmm, so you believe that. And then... Yeah, I mean, they got that, or um, I saw one recently was, like, Taylor Swift, you know, she's dating that, that football guy or whatever. No way you don't know his name. Uh, Travis something. So you're a Swifty more than a football fan? Nah, I mean, I just don't like football. So yeah. I mean, I know her. What sports do you her. I'm going to get off track. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't. I mean, I played. Main thing I did was like I swam in high school, but that was it. Do what? I swam like I was on the swim team. <laughs> I ain't never <laughs> met a swimmer, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I swam in high school. But, okay. um, no, so like she started dating this this. Uh, he's from the Chiefs, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I saw a bunch of stuff like people were flaming her for uh, like jet emissions or something. You know, like uh, like global warming, all of like um, like private jet flights, mm-hmm. and then you started dating mm-hmm. this guy on the Chiefs when they play the Jets. So if you type in Taylor Swift Jets, it's her at a Jets game instead of her mm-hmm. with a private jet. You got way too much time. So on just, what you do for a living? No, that, that ain't my theory. I just saw it. What you do for a living, man? Man, I just. I would just call it like data entry or some bullshit job. Yeah, I figure you had like one of them desk jobs. You be taking your breaks. You take a break, you go on <laughs> Google. <laughs> you go into some foxhole, and now you think Taylor Swift went to a Jets game just to get everybody to stop talking about how much she take private jets. 
I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong. <laughs> man, they killing black people every day, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my! Every fucking no, day, man. I didn't man. say nothing about that. I didn't say anything about that. That's what I'm saying. Why you ain't googling that shit, man? <laughs> Y'all niggas worried about Taylor Swift what and some jetty to missions. What am I supposed about it? I'm just one guy, man. I, I can't well, do anything. You don't know no cops? <laughs> no, I don't hang out with cops like that. You don't like cops? What you gotta say about cops? <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say about cops. I just don't hang out with. Them. Why you don't hang out with cops? <laughs> <laughs> man. Get off of my case, bro. Nah, man. You yeah. are, this nigga won't pick a side, nigga. <laughs> is you liberal or are you racist, no nigga? <laughs> he won't pick a side and then keep playing the middle. That's a like. terrible choice. I mean, that's a terrible choice. Yeah, I, I guess voted. you do. You do listen to a black podcast. I mean, I, I voted for uh, for Biden. I don't know if that's if that means we don't really fuck about that. We don't give a fuck about Barnacle Boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man, shout out to Biden, man. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. <laughs> what up? What up? Why you niggas coughing? This nigga's such a cop. Um, what's good though? Yo, yo, yeah. Ain't no way bisexual men are real. Oh. Huh? You don't? You don't think bisexual men are real? <laughs> no, because that's gay. <laughs> If you kiss a dude, you gay. <laughs> but that doesn't have anything to do with being bisexual, though. No, nah, because dude, you have like, a nah, I like to both. To, nah, fool. If you jump in the pool, you wet. There ain't no I'm dry, but I also I am also wet. No. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that analogy? But you can you can jump in the pool and your legs be wet and your upper body be dry. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> so you're bi. Nah, fuck that. No, if you if you have sex with a dude, that is gay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they said, I guess the the definition of it is that they're also having sex with women, women as well. So that makes nah, them, so bi gay. means or just, two. Nah. Everything sex is just attracted to. Yeah. Nah, that's gay. Yeah, in that moment, but after they're not doing that thing, right? Then nah, they go back to gay. so whatever they do last, that's what they are. That's why you call them bisexual because they're doing both. Nah, that's gay. There, there's no, there's no kind of you gay. <laughs> but what does that have to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> what What do you mean? What they got to do with me? What they got to do with you? If somebody's bisexual or not? No, they they cool, but they gay. <laughs> so what would you consider yourself? Oh damn! I just. Re- Turn it fucking touchdown, Madden. Sorry, what? What would you consider yourself? I'm straight as fuck. What do you mean? What do you mean? But what's your concern? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, there's no concern. Like, hey, yo, you if you gay, you gay, cool. You just, but, want, the, you just want them to call themselves gay and not bisexual. Yeah. But what does that do for you though? So. It does, is it like some confusion line somewhere where you want people to identify as just gay and not bisexual? I was trying to figure out like what's the why are you trying to fix it or like why are you trying to make it that way? I ain't here to fix nothing, but I'm yeah, just saying if you suck a dude's dick, you gay. Why is there's no like that? oh that was yesterday? No, you are gay. But, but have you ever looked at a dude and be like oh that dude's a, a handsome dude? But you say pause beforehand. Oh. <laughs> hey, now we getting somewhere. We got you, nigga. We do it. Nah, what? Anybody, <laughs> listen, anybody to me, if you go like, like if something bothers you to the core, I think that you just trying to keep yourself far away because you don't trust yourself around it. Nah. <laughs> so I'm calling you gay. <laughs> what? <the fuck? laughs> Man, this is bisexual. Because you worried about it though. I would never be like, hey. Who said I'm worried about it? I ain't worried about it. Oh, you're not? Because like I ain't like when I go down the street, I don't go, damn, is some dude gonna like do some crazy shit? No. I do my thing. But if you if you suck a dude's dick, you get it. All right. So, <laughs> all right, so this is this, I hate when people ask this question because it's always a, like uh would you do this for a million dollars? So would you suck a dick then? <laughs> For $5 million. Who gonna know? It doesn't matter. But Nobody, just nobody, you. No, just you. 
Shit, I gotta get on the come up somehow. Yeah, I do it. I know, so and a hundred thousand other people. Congratulations. <laughs> So that means gotcha. that means your that means your that means your gayness has a price. Shit, everyone got a price. So key pause though. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, you lying? I'm not. Why are you trying to get me to be not not you bisexual? You now you want me to be bisexual so, with okay, you? After you no, did that wait, act, what? so after you did that act, right? And then you get your money. Would you then be considered a gay millionaire? I guess, yeah. It has to be right Right by your rules You get Yeah by my rules I'm gonna play by my rules So, so yeah So I need to hear you say it But I don't have Five million dollars no, I'm saying If you had five, five million dollars You'd be a gay millionaire Would well, you be a gay millionaire Shit with the math I'm saying yes But I ain't got that money So if you get five million So we So we get If we fund you five million You identify as a gay man now I'll identify as a fucking dinosaur for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate All right, bro. Out. Leave you, hey All man. Right. Leave it. Leave people alone, man. All right, for sure. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Key's back. What the fuck it do, Stu? Fire listener callers. We got Key back, so we got to make this last little run of the podcast here really good. So it's on Key. All right, Key. What you got to say? What's up with Dylan Dennis? What about him? That oh, the nigga fight? got a moral victory from Logan Paul. I feel like I feel like moral victory shouldn't be used in this situation. Yeah, I feel like it's it's a it's a money victory. Yeah, I think so. I think too is that um he went in, he went into it and just not wanting to get knocked out. I think that was the win for him. Yeah, and Logan did say he's gonna knock his ass out. Yeah, and he stood there like a punching bag. Okay, so if I know I can't beat you in boxing, mm-hmm. right? I'm. I'm 100% sure. I was watching Dylan Dennis doing mitts like yeah. during that week. I'm like, there's no way mm. he's, he's going to survive. So he knows that and he knows like, damn, the only way like I can go viral and this shit will never, ever end if I get knocked out and there's a meme of me knocked out, you know, Logan going to do some weird pose over your body and yeah. it's going to be viral. Yeah. It's going to be on. <laughs> he's the, he's the Muhammad the Ali pose. Yeah, yeah, he's going to do the Muhammad Ali pose and shit and it's going to be viral. It's going to be on Prime commercials. It's going to live way longer. Than, it's already starting to die down like mm-hmm. the fight and stuff because yeah. it wasn't a knockout and it's, it was more embarrassing for Logan not to knock him out than what Dylan Dennis did. Yeah. He got paid like once you hit that stage and it's like, Two million. I bet you Dylan, Dylan Dennis, whatever he got paid, but I bet you at some point Dylan Dennis was like, "All right, cool. Let me see. Let me see what it's like." And he got hit, and he was like, "You know what? Fuck all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, I know I can't win. Mm-hmm. I know it's not because it's still that like that. I bet you got that fighter's mentality. Let yeah. me see what I can do." And he took his chances yeah. at some points. He took his swings. <laughs> he threw like nine punches. And all yeah, that. but that was nine swings though. He could have <laughs> threw zero. <laughs> I fuck around. Don't throw nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I already got paid. <laughs> yeah, fuck I you trying it. to knock me out for? And he built the fight too to that point. He too. definitely sold the fight, but he wasn't getting no, no pay per view, so it was like he was just building it for that, their pockets. Oh damn, he didn't get no pay per view points. But I think he also though, even though he didn't get no pay per view points, uh, it grew his following. Yep. And then he also got you know for sponsorship deals for the fights and stuff like that. He could also boost up how much he gets paid for. I that mean, we well. talking about Dylan. I didn't know him before this. Oh, you didn't? No. I always knew who he was. Oh, because, because of Conor, Conor McGregor? McGregor. Because Conor, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, like, he's like a household name in yeah. that realm now, mm-hmm. where, where, which he wasn't in the creator's world. And I'm not going to lie, he was he was always talking shit on IG or Twitter and stuff like that. And then seeing him on different podcasts and, like, um, I never had a problem with him. But seeing on different podcasts and stuff like that, actually, you know, expressing his his feelings. And like, just, like, you can tell he's funny, a funny guy. He showed himself well on the Andrew Schultz podcast. Okay. Yeah, so it was a really good podcast. It was funny as hell. So I think that's the thing with, with some people that talk a lot of shit on the internet and when they actually put them down, especially in front of a comedian, mm-hmm. where they can let loose and shit like that. It's like, bro, I'm just trolling, bro. Like, no, nah, y'all, y'all niggas taking this shit serious. I'm just trolling. You want to know what's crazy? Yeah. I asked that nigga Key, and then we just started talking about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say, security? <laughs> <laughs> They can't do like security though. I know. Come on, <laughs> they can build like Craig. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> they know free ones, nigga. Oh my god! <laughs> you dress, no. you dress like the usher at no, a church. No, y'all got your key. <laughs> you guys sit here, bro, because y'all can't talk shit. But not. Uh, who who going first, me or you? I, think you, you, you? I like how we take turns though. Like it's like respectable. 
You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, almost respectable. Look at me behind the scenes now. That shit crazy. <laughs> that nigga look like he work at Olive Garden. <laughs> this nigga got Michael Jordan knees. <laughs> and they got a bowling alley outfit. You don't know if he worked there or nigga playing. <laughs> you don't know. That nigga got roller skates on. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> nigga heels is Heelys. <laughs> The fucked up part, can't, Pat can't even show his shoes to prove his point. That's no, I can't. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, nah. Nigga. nigga, go park my car, nigga. <laughs> all right, like, all right, all right, I think right. like, this nigga like the valet, you get in your seat right, and it's, I'm, I'm about to it's keep old this. fries and shit. Like, this nigga went to McDonald's and my shit. I'm about to keep the pod moving along. <laughs> um, <laughs> bro, he can't, bro. Did you see that one thing with the girl that went to Cheesecake Factory? The girl that went to and cheesecake. She, she was recording herself, and um, she, the guy took her to Cheesecake Factory, and she was recording herself saying, I'm not getting out the car. And then he's like, yeah, I can't believe he took me to Cheesecake Factory. You never saw that? No, nah, well, hell no. Nah. That she was, was a long time ago, right? You can't take nobody to the Cheesecake Factory? No. Nah. Why would you take somebody to the Cheesecake Factory? Here it is. Hold on. Let me. As I expect. Uh, with the expectations for myself to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to favor for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have. This, done. Is, this is the guy talking to him. Yeah, and, been pretty and, then, nice, but, I mean, and then, cheesecake factory. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl. So, yeah, basically, she was just dogging him for. He taking sounded her to like this, he was getting dog. Taking her to the cheesecake factory. Why he so apologetic? Uh, he he. At the end of the day, he did say like, "This is not going to work out" and stuff like that. You want to know what would have happened if what? she would have said that? What? She would have been at the cheesecake factory longer than me. You told her to get out. Yeah, and see how long your Uber take to come get you. What well, she says, no though. That's the thing about to get out the yeah. car. Then I'm just getting out. Oh, she had a problem. With <laughs> that's true. Shit. That's a good. Hey, that's a good uh, one. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm moving at home. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, and I'm just, blocking my door. Yeah, just lock your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she had a problem with going to the cheese safe factory. Like yeah. you took there. Yeah, yeah. As a first date. Oh, that. Mm, mm, mm. That's the thing. That would be a test for me. I'm taking you to Cheesecake Factory to see how you act. But Cheesecake Factory not even that bad though, and it's expensive. Depending the on the thing what you about get. it, like when the, the, the thing I don't like about Cheesecake Factory, I'm not gonna lie, no, it's trash. They're, no, no, I don't think it's that trash. I think it's trash. Their menu is just a ginormous. No, I think it's I, just, you got too many. I options. would never. I get that to I get Mexican and Chinese at the same spot. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> With Italian in the middle, yeah. and it's a and it's a nigga cooking in the back. <laughs> Fuck this nigga, <laughs> multicultural ass nigga. This nigga got half the menu. <laughs> this nigga, uh, there's no culture in Cheesecake. I this nigga make Thai chicken <laughs> and fried chicken. Nigga, I can't trust this nigga. <laughs> no, I had some pasta from there. It was like black, and that shit was horrible. Bro. Sure, that shit was pasta. Yeah, it was. It was black like some, pasta, like some type of squid, something or it was some type of nasty ass. That nigga tried to get fancy. <laughs> he saw the fancy thing on the menu. Tried to impress him. Like, Let me get some squid. No, hell no. I had JJ Fish the other day. It was like Squid Ink on chicken. JJ, shout out JJ's. That's it was crazy. like Squid Ink on Why chicken. Why are you shouting out JJ's? Because they fire. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's, that's just all right. <laughs> nah, look, no. What? It's JJ Fish is okay. It's good. The chicken. I, don't, I don't eat the fish. You the trying to compare it to like Harold's chicken and shit. Harold's I get that. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not even comparing it to Harold's. I'm just to, to normal baked chicken. Don't say that on a podcast. What? I started a debate, man. Come see me. I mean, you're a real Milwaukee person. You, you sticking up for your... Beliefs. I've been to Harold's and that shit. I'm like, oh, this day JJ's. But you don't go to Harold's consistently enough to really judge it because there's no Harold's. Yeah, in because Milwaukee. It's, and it's different JJ's. In too. Chicago, we got Harold's everywhere. So Some, why niggas don't tell that to Keith Lee? Oh, niggas did tell Keith Lee that. Really? Yeah, Keith Lee just ain't got time to respond. He's a nigga making a million dollars. He got time. <laughs> Some niggas tell him to go back to a restaurant and try some shit. Nigga, fuck you, nigga. I ain't trying to shit. Like a I got to sit back here this whole every episode. I'd literally come here in my boxers. Nah, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. That's Why? A fucking pause. This nigga, I, was, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> come to the studio. I'm here in hey, my boxers. I be butt naked, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, say all that, nigga. Don't get naked, nigga. nigga. Right. They can talk Bro, about. I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> they can talk about. I be. He the first nigga to get a pause behind the camera. <laughs> they can talk he about. got paused before. No, nah, this not crazy pause. pause. This pause. How this nigga pause? said I want to show up in my box. In your box. I, I said I would sit here in my box. It's exaggeration. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why are you sitting it's, in your boxers? It's, listen, it's You're an exa- I wouldn't show. technically sit in my body. It's an exaggeration to how far I would go. Like, this is how comfortable it is. Nigga, why do you want to go that far? It's just like, oh, I could, I'm so hungry, I could eat a cow. Oh, what? I thought you were about to say <laughs> something so. Well, like, Bruce, I'm so hungry, I can eat a dick. I was about to no, be like, come on, oh, wait, 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 wait. You know, bro, you know, I would never say that. Chill out, more cheese, please. You know, yeah. tell me where to stop. <laughs> oh, that flew past my head. Trucker hat. Yeah. <laughs> that was weak. I'm not gonna lie. Girl, you gotta take your seat back for that one. <laughs> I switch back. <laughs> I swear I didn't keep look like security for other security guards. I know I keep saying that shit. Like, hey, I'm here to protect y'all while y'all protect them. <laughs> this nigga is a chef minister. A what? A chef minister. A chef minister? Look it up. That nigga keep dressed like he about to get so, baptized. So this oh. guy, uh, <laughs> I don't know where they were at. This guy uh, saw Jay-Z, and this is what he asked him. 500K. I ain't taking that dinner. I'm taking that 500K. You feel me? <laughs> hey, it's loud on. You feel me? Yep. Hey, ho, I'm taking that uh, 500K. So it, like, why are you that, going up to Jay Z saying? That's probably the most dick riding shit I've heard <laughs> in my life, bro. <laughs> the thing is that he was in pretty decent proximity uh, from from um, Jay Z and stuff like that. I'm like, that's the thing you wanted to say to him. A meme on the internet that he probably don't care about. That's the thing. So obviously, you, you know who Jay Z is, right? Yeah. And you talking to him, so you must be some type of like supporter, or you know who yeah, Jay Z is. Seemed like he was backstage somewhere. Yeah, and it's just like that's that's what you want to do. That's some of these dudes. Just, instead <laughs> of being like, "Damn, Jay Z, nice to meet you," yeah, and being able to be like, I "Hey, act a picture, a picture." <laughs> hey, I met Jay Z. Instead of trying to make a meme out the shit, yeah. remember the same dude did that shit he with thought, Ghana. Yeah, he thought he was gonna get a, a reaction. Jay Z just said, uh, "Be good, be good." Yeah. Just it's like, like you want to go viral? Like <laughs> I don't get what people think is going to happen after they go viral. Yeah. Like, name somebody that trolled Jay-Z, somebody. Jay-Z wouldn't take the 500K, so he's not Six expecting nine. Huh? He, he was, was rapping, though. He was rapping. He ain't troll nobody and get famous off that one singular troll. Mm-hmm. Lil T, Lil Tay? What's her name? The girl Lil Tay? Lil Tay. Dad? But I think people liked her as like, the, I'm saying she didn't use another celebrity to do it, though. DJ Academics? <laughs> so just naming a whole bunch of <laughs> dudes. <laughs> nigga just named, nigga yeah. talk shit. Obama didn't do that. Nigga. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. No, nah, I saw some people. There's like a video out there that said um, they saw Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Yeah. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Nah, I think all oh, that's ridiculous. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Um, no. That, I, I don't get all that I, the Loch Ness monster, all yeah. that bullshit. And they got ate by a shark. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> I don't think there, are there some animals out there that maybe we never haven't discovered yet. Yeah, maybe deep in the jungles and whatever stuff like that. But I, anytime there's like a perfect drawing or something, everybody just goes with that drawing. Just like you know, Bigfoot, aliens. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Jesus Christ that people have a drawing of and stuff like that. Yeah. I never, you never believe that what they look like. So when I saw that little video of the thing, it looks exactly like all everybody's drawings. I'm like, okay, that's it. That, but that's <laughs> it could be something. That's out there the other costume. thing. There's like irregular things that happen in human form. So mm-hmm. why wouldn't we think it happened in animal form? Yeah. Like you got the average guy. The average guy is like five nine, five ten, right? Yeah. But you got seven five people. So if it's a gorilla or uh, some type of ape or whatever, you don't think like, damn, one of them could have. Yeah, been like irregular and grew to seven feet tall. Yeah, and shit well, like that. But the thing about that is, like, then what's the lifespan of these things? Yeah, so Bigfoot, and then how so, many Bigfoots are there? Yeah, that, that, so is big is Bigfoot fucking? Yeah, is it little, is it little foots around this bitch? Yeah, like, or is there going some on? incest shit going on? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> are y'all helping him recreate and shit? Yeah, well, this I girl's see, walking in like Bigfoot. <laughs> I've seen a theory that Bigfoot is a uh, um, human ape. A human ape. Yeah, like somebody had nutted in a... I mean, not a human ape. Whatever you call a gorilla. Why are you using that word, bro? Because I'm talking about a human having sex with an animal. (laughs) (laughs) Did you have to say nutted, bro? Coming? (laughs) Just say... (laughs) say, Just say have sex, bro. (laughs) (laughs) They could be the worst biology teacher. (laughs) They could could teach you health science or whatever. Hey, and would that nut hit that egg? (laughs) (laughs) I ain't talking about breakfast, little nigga. When that nut hit that egg, nigga, that's when that baby come out and you fucked, nigga. (laughs) 
<laughs> they gonna put you on child support. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap up. Yeah. How that shit smell like a NASCAR race after? I forgot I had to go to Lululemon. Chuck, man, get, you just get anybody free publicity. Hell no. You know how many times you mentioned BetterHelp without a... Promoter? Shout out to BetterHelp, man. <laughs> I, I want niggas to get help. You just you mentioned in Lululemon. They, got a, they, got, got, they got sell some, $100 headbands. I got scared because I got to go there to do a little pants try on. Pants? Yeah. All right. First the boxers, now the pants. <laughs> Freaky. Um, can stalkers stalk more than one person? I didn't. I don't get that. Hmm? Yes, it's not a riddle, nigga. I promise. <laughs> I see it was, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, I think they can. Can they stalk more than one person? Yeah. How couldn't they? I think they can. Yeah. How do you have like who's being stalked? I think the thing about stalking is not even just about the time amount that you're trying to follow this person. Stuff oh, it's like just that. the fact that you're just being followed. Yeah, in general. Mm. So even it's like if I go. You know, I go to the same gym every day and I see this person. They don't even go to the gym usually, but now they go to the gym because of me. Mm-hmm. And then I go to a certain coffee shop. Now they're going to a certain coffee shop and I go to, you know, just walking down the street. Right. I see them walking down the oh, street. Oh, so they still that got can, time that, for five more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. That, that can be 15 minutes of activities, but he can do that same thing or she can do that same thing. It's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got it again. That's three. <laughs> three pauses. This nigga out here. <laughs> you can't have a dude stalker. <laughs> Oh, no, that'd be crazy. In my head, though, I'm, the reason I said he, because anytime I think of a stalker, you think of a dude. I think of a dude. Girls ain't got him. time for that shit. <laughs> There's no, that's a woman stalker for yeah, sure. No, 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 no. Stalkers. But women, like, way smarter than yeah. uh, women and be like, they end up in the same Tybo class as you. Like, how the fuck you get to black belt? So, <laughs> how the fuck this happened? They start trading belt. this shit. They said black belt and Tybo. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> hey, it's, Tybo. It's a karate nigga mad as hell. That don't work like that. <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You know, none of them karate <laughs> niggas be uh, every having karate girlfriends. School, every karate school I see is always closed. Like, I never see niggas in there doing karate. Cause it's always there. Work. Either they have weird hours or just like, I never see anybody. I just I see a whole bunch of trophies. And, and white belts I feel like Cause that's cause A student came in And then trained And beat the master And they gotta shut down the gym <laughs> But then this nigga Finally got us <laughs> I'll walk into some karate class With a gun nigga <laughs> Chop these bullets Karate's a good thing for kids though For it's, it's, it's Hell yeah you can, you can Yoga, karate, soccer yeah. That's you, all you need your kid in Especially for confidence building Your kid can beat some kid ass With just simple karate Yeah It's when you get a little old most people were simple karate. Bro, nobody them. really was throwing punches till we hit middle school. Yeah. Nobody was throwing like actual, like, you know, the thing that I knew was neglected, like as being a boxer now, was neglected in like street fights was like going to the body. It yeah. Was, niggas, in street fights, straight head hunting. Niggas because try, niggas trying, trying, to, trying to get you out of there. I feel like when we was in high school, if you fought, you really had like 20 seconds. Exactly. So fuck all that body shit. <laughs> security on their way. Yeah. And these like security guards in the hood for the school. Like, we had police officers. Like mm. you getting tased. <laughs> like that was the thing. Like that's how the, like you had to make sure like we fought. And we both stopped fighting when the cops got there. Yeah. Because they was tasing niggas when, at my school. <laughs> Man, I seen a girl get tased so fucking hard. It looked like somebody just put, like, a frozen piece of fish in some grease. <laughs> I said, God damn, they frying her ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn. They was tasing the fuck out of her. Shout out to her, man. You said it was a black girl that got through in some grease? That looked like she got through in grease? And they was frying her ass? yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Why you repeat? Nigga, sound like it, because it sounds like a, a scene from Hansel and Gretel. I never seen Hansel and Gretel. Oh, well, do you ever see the book when the witch was cooking niggas? You know a nigga don't know it. Is <laughs> that like a nursery swine? You know Hansel and Gretel, right? Yeah. You know Jack and Jill? Yeah. Sing Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill, nigga. And what else? I don't know, but I know Adam Sandler was in the movie. <laughs> nah, it's like a it's like an old school riddle. I mean, Jack like old school song. Adam Sandler was in what? No, the he movie. wasn't in. He wasn't know. Jack and Jill. He played Jack and Jill. It's a movie called Jack and Jill. I, I know, but it is, it is, yeah, I know you right, but I know, but it's just like before that. It's like a it's like a song. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the hill the to fetch a pail of water. water. Yeah, something Jack like fell that. down and broke his, his crown, crown or something. <laughs> Nigga bust his head and shit. <laughs> <laughs> ain't go back. Fucking with uh, was it like? This uh, up, th- so this is a clip Dennis with Dennis Rodman. Rodman. What kind of player was he? He was bad, man. He was Dennis was a machine. He could guard anybody on the floor. Uh, he had the psychological games. He get in your head before the game. You give a dap. He squeezed my ass a little too. <laughs> it wasn't like who's this? What's up? It wasn't like let's go. It was I was so now you're thinking. 
Facts. <laughs> you, know, you running down the court, you know, thinking about this motherfucker while he getting every fucking offensive rebound <laughs> there is to go. So he knew how to, you know, get physical and play, you know, and fly. I and mean, he was, but his foot speed matched mine. So all my little. So that he said, so that's not that the, that's uh, James Worthy, Hall of Fame Laker. So. <laughs> That's like that's I always hear those stories about Dennis Rodman, mm-hmm. how like people go for rebounds and he'll put like instead of like being physical and pushing everywhere, he'll put his finger up your butt. <laughs> so for you really? turn yeah, so like you going up for a rebound, he'll jump, he'll put his finger up your butt like that. So you, obviously <laughs> for real? Bro. Yeah. So 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 nobody <laughs> So nobody saw it, so you turn around pushing him and then he flopping and shit. Yeah. Bro, he was putting fingers in niggas' butts to yeah. get the rebound. That's a good strategy for him, though, for yeah, anybody. Yeah. anybody but else they can't do that now. But back then, the cameras wasn't as Kai good. Kai Jones, though, probably. Huh? Kai Jones, probably. Chill, chill. <laughs> Why would Kai Jones do that? I'm just saying. I'm just thinking somebody that's like Nah, Kai weird. Jones wouldn't do that. I know he wouldn't, but I'm just saying. Nobody would say shit to him if he did it. No, just I'm like nobody saying. Nobody say shit with the, to, would say nothing to Dennis Rodman. No, I know I, there's too many cameras and stuff. Yeah, that see now there's too many slow-mo. angles. I'm just saying if there was a person to do it. Bro, the cameras are so slow motion now. They can show what like. What are you going to do? You know when something. It's an accident. You know that stuff that you used to get away with? Like, let's say um, you caught the ball, right? And I tackled you, and then you hopped up and threw the ball at my chest, mm. right? But if it was smooth enough, nobody could catch it. Even the cameras back then couldn't catch it. Mm-hmm. But now they got it, and they can make it look. They it's so slow motion. They can see you peek at me first, like they be like, "Oh, he peeked at him right intent, there." Intent, yeah, intent, intent. <laughs> so they so good, so nobody can get away with nothing now. Yeah. But back then, like, bro, if he was poking you in your booty, key, what you was gonna do? Oh, beat that nigga ass. Yeah. But they say you're gonna lose a million dollars if you punch him. Oh, I would have had to set up something private then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What, nigga? We talking about fighting? What is you talking about, bro? You hear? You see this nigga, Mike? Look at him. Oh, leave me out this one. Look at him. <laughs> look, no, look at him. I'm Whoa, just a, I'm just a spectator. <laughs> set up something private. <laughs> Hey, why you want to be freaky all no, the time? It, it is a crazy comment. Too. When, when somebody says somebody poked in your booty, and then <laughs> Wait, you said, I, look, I said it after fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said, you said, <laughs> you asked what you want to do. You said, then you said you want to see him in private. Type no, shit. I didn't say that. I didn't say that after no, no, that. I get it though. I get it. I get, it. I get what you're trying to say, but I can kind of see where Pat's coming from too. So I'm just trying to be the mediator here. This nigga is Oh my freaky. god, bro. You freaky it's as just, fuck, it's just that bro. If just somebody does something like that, you, you, privacy is probably not the thing you want. <laughs> you probably want to do everything you Who want to do. said I wanted, like, it was going to be full on just me and him. Why <laughs> assume that? So other niggas are going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman, I don't know. Camera. <laughs> Aki, I'm not gonna lie. We're just gonna end the episode there. Um, I appreciate y'all. This that has nigga. been Crab Dummies. That nigga went for trying to grab a rebound to film in the whole mill orgy, bro. This yeah, nigga. Why y'all, why y'all want to be freaky like nigga that? Trying on, nigga trying to be on Brazzers. <laughs> on Brazzers? <laughs> what about to be on Black? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Crash Dummy you? Key? No, Crash Dummy Key ain't gonna, gonna be crash there. It's, t- it's gonna be the, <laughs> <laughs> right. it's gonna be the two bears I'm looking at. Nah, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are you talking <laughs> Why is he? All right. <laughs> That's been Crash Dummies episode 124. All right, <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Subscribe to Ooh. Patreon. Make sure y'all um, click the links in the bios. Subscribe to uh, the Keys music and stuff like that. Uh, what else we got? That's it, man. Appreciate everybody that's been supporting me, too. We'll be back. Peace.